There are only a handful of places around the world that are notorious for their beauty, charm, and culture. Mykonos is one of those, but is it worth the hype? Hey, we're Laura and Peter. We moved on board our floating home one year ago with zero experience of how to sail. Ever since, this has been our adventure. In the last few weeks, we've been sailing across the Cyclades from Poros to Mykonos. Check out the last two episodes to see us facing our fears of sailing in 30 plus knots. But now we're here. We've made it to Mykonos. It's time to see some friends and family and explore what is probably the most touristy island in Greece. So after a quick reunion for the dogs, it was time to go out, rent some quads and go explore. I'm done living life with the lights out, die with my own doubts. Be free with me. Be free. Well, it's finally happened. We've now been filming these videos for a year and for the first time I deleted a bunch of footage. Probably 75% of our filming. We did probably 70, 80% of our filming with the GoPro. Uh, and then I just deleted the whole thing apparently. Um, and I've got some of it back, but it's, it's not overly usable. So this is going to be way different than what we planned. Laura's finally taken to sewing, <laughs> as of today. Uh, so yeah, this is gonna be way different than planned. I don't know how this is gonna go. Changed. We left Mykonos yesterday because um, it just, we were only there for two days and it was horrible. People, that's it, that's all you need to say. People. Like, I've never seen anything like it. I mean, that's everyone's idea of what a Greek island is, but it's literally the furthest from a Greek island that we've ever seen. So don't go I don't even remember it being that bad whenever we were there last time. No, when we, so what you saw, we rented the quads. It's quiet if you go to the north side of the island, but the south side is just insane. Mm -hmm. I've never seen anything it's like it. Enjoyable. And the town itself is just crazy. Yeah, just Anyway, so being um, boat people, we don't typically like big crowds. So we came back out to exactly where we were four days ago, waiting out the wind, except now there's no wind. And that means now that we've got a new scraper, we finally have to get to work cleaning the hull. <laughs> So that's today's plan and um, yeah we're just going to be here chilling out for another day and I'm trying to show these guys a little bit of what the actual Greek island remote. We're like literally one mile away from Mykonos but there's nobody here. It's amazing. And if you're wondering why I wet it, because I went in yesterday and did it for 20 minutes and I was shivering so. <laughs> you wouldn't think it looking at that? No it's, it's really nice but not for long. No yeah, time. too long. So, time to go back and do another quarter of the boat. Peter was going to jump in, but <laughs> we had to be very quiet because if Cooper hears it, like, and he's, he's asleep for, like, yesterday he didn't sleep at all because we were all in the water, but he's actually sleeping for the first time. But if he sees you jump in, he'll not be sleeping for nothing. So after some super high quality shots of me finishing my boat work, it was time for some fun and that means it's wake paddle boarding time. Yes, it's a new sport.
thought it was the end of the day. We are just going for a nice sunset walk. I'm on the wrong side of the island for the sunset, but... It's been a very good day. Action-packed. I can't say it more seriously. If you're a tourist and you're coming from America or you're coming from Australia and it's a huge distance to get here, don't spend all your time in Mykonos or Santorini. It's it's not the real Greece. It's not it's not anything more than like going to a theme park. But yeah, if you're if you're coming literally thousands of miles, at least go see somewhere else like Paros, Paxos, Poros, like any of those places that are real. Milos. Yeah, Milos. Well, and these are a lot of places we haven't even been to yet, but we just know from locals that they are the places that you should go to. Um, not the places where the travel agents are trying to send you. So, there you go. Top tip. Just thought we'd finish the day um, checking out the sunset. And honestly, this has to be my favourite thing of boat life. Whenever you get super, super quiet, calm waters, with nothing but the water around you, the sun setting, and the birds. I mean, this is a million dollar view, and it's incredible. Um, it's not normally as nice as this, but the fact that this is our life is still, you just have to pinch yourself at a lot of moments and this is one of them. Absolutely insane. Yeah, even though Mykonos was nowhere near what we kind of predicted it would be and this isn't what we planned to do with these guys, it's turned out to be so much better. So, but yeah, we'll see you tomorrow um, for our last day with these guys and yeah, see what the plan is. So, good night. See you later. So after a night of peace and quiet, it was time to get up bright and early for our last day. Favorite trip of the holiday? Favorite trip favorite of the holiday? Trip. No. Favorite part of the holiday? <laughs> the wakeboarding? Yeah, I mean, paddleboard. Fun. That was good. Okay, when we actually had good, we were very cool. And being with the dogs. And my favorite you like. Uh, yeah, Amy blocking the toilet with her poo. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I think you'll find that was you. Ah, uh, no, nothing I didn't like. Yeah, me neither. It was so good. Great yeah. hospitality. Thank you. On board. I'm Wonderful married. cooking. Yeah, well great fired. cooking. Great Swimming washing. up skills. Let's yeah. <laughs> well, travel review. I'll take the more Ten time. out of ten. Yeah. Washing up skills. I'll write, I'll write a trip advisor for you. Perfect. But when yeah. you come back? 100%. Yep. They're coming back for a week next time, you say. <laughs> and then it'll go to two weeks. <laughs> and then we'll be moving Just in. Just give it up. Just to give up life. <laughs> sure there's enough room for a six of us. So we have to say goodbye to Amy and Rachel. Really good couple of days. Short but sweet, but I'm sure the footage will show that they had a really good time. Um, so now we are going to get out of this shockingly busy island and we have to head north because there's a Meltemi coming. A slight one coming tomorrow and then a lot much longer one coming on Tuesday for like two weeks. So yeah, gonna escape the winds. It is so hot. Yeah. Good few wet days though. Really really good. Um short but sweet. It was nice again just having the, the peace and quiet of an island. Yeah, definitely. Like um, there there were four cruise ships in here right now. Four. 
One. There's two there, and then there's one behind that big, huge one. Crazy. <laughs> too many people. And I know, like, um, we've done nothing but complain about the wind over this last few days, but not having wind right now would, is kind of really annoying because of how hot it actually is. <laughs> people are going to be like, so, are you serious? There's no wind in here. There's a nice medium that you can get, like 15 knots is nice. 15 to 20 knots is fine. Heck, yeah. even 25 knots is fine. Yeah. It's the 40 knots, it's, but... Yeah. So yeah, but anyway, okay. That's us. Good few days. Thanks for watching. I'm sure they'll be back. Yes. Thanks for watching see them. We'll see you in the next one, whatever that Bye. may be. <laughs> Bye guys. Come back next week because we're celebrating one year on board. It's gonna be a good one. So don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on for that. And we'll see you then. See you later. Bye. Come with me. I'm not really asking.